bring her in, there's gonna be consequences. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. You're going out into the wide world, and you won't be coming back. You're soldiers, and you have to be ruthless. In this war, anything goes. Uh, I'm Kate Hahn with TV Insider, and today we're speaking with Esme Creed Miles and Marie Enos about season three, the final season of Hannah. Um, Esme and Marie, you play teen assassin Hannah and an ex-CIA agent, uh, Marissa Vigler. They, they, they used to be foes, they've become allies, and they've always had recently a sort of surrogate mother-daughter relationship. And I'd love to know where that goes emotionally this season. Um, Esme, would you like to start? I feel like they have a partnership maybe even more than more so than a mother-daughter relationship. I'm a big fan of the killing and I feel like mm -hmm. their relationship is almost like um, Ray's and Joel's on that show. Like we're real, like a duo, like a team. Um, and working with Marae more has been a dream. Mm, so that is, you know, how I feel about it. Yeah, I think, I think what's really a, the big journey for Marissa is um, to actually allow Hannah to be seen as an equal because when you talk about mother-daughter, there's still like a power dynamic there, right? Mm. And actually letting Hannah rise up and seeing her as an equal and giving her room to make her own decisions, walk her own path with blessing is, um, is the biggest step, I think, for, for me. Can they trust each other completely this season? No. No, but that's my fault because Marissa just like yeah. endlessly withholds. Yeah. Endlessly withholds. But they but they do. But they do. They do. They have to. They have yeah. to take and risks. The, and there is a moment where I say, Can you trust me? And from that point on, I don't withhold anything from you. Yeah. They built their whole lives on not trusting anyone. So it's it's hard to change that habit. So let's talk about John Carmichael. He was in quite a bad way the last time we saw him at the end of season two. He's yeah. being blackmailed. Where is that going in season three? Can he handle that? Well, I think he handles it pretty well. Season three starts just a couple of days after the end of season two, which of course is weird because we shot that, a, you know, two years ago or whatever. But this incredible through line, suddenly we see uh, John Carmichael completely at odds with where he was few days ago. Marissa Beegler has said, you work for me now. And now he's being forced, coerced, to work on bringing down this program, this Utrax program that he's worked so hard on for decades to bring these girls up to where I can release them into the world to go kill. Um, so he, he's in a, yeah, he, he's in a pickle. He's definitely in a pickle. Does he ever have a moment coming up where he's forced to reflect on what he's actually done. I think the thing that drives John Carmichael is John Carmichael. I don't, I don't think he goes beyond that. In fact, the way that I conceived of him is really ego-driven. This is an amazing program. One of them he didn't even know about, assuming that Hannah had died as a baby, and then she emerges, you learn in season two, that I'm the guy that runs this program. Uh, but the whole time that Hannah's been off in the wilderness with Eric Keller, R.I.P., um, I've been bringing up dozens of female wolf DNA um, dosed assassins. So now Marissa's working with Hannah using me to, to bring that program down right when it's time to release them and have them do our... Our, our bidding. I was going to say, you know, do our evil deeds for us, but really, I don't think Carmichael sees it that way. He's a company man. He's born and bred CIA. He's well trained tradecraft, and this is what he does. He's there to save the future of his country by eliminating potential threats. You are joining as a very bad guy, uh, Gordon Evans, in season three of Hannah. Um, tell us a little bit about him. Well, I obviously don't think that I'm a bad guy, but I just know that, I, I, that he has a belief in terms of his patriotism or what he, he thinks patriotism is and is, is hired to uh, and creates uh, a company, so to speak, to get bad guys before they turn really bad. So his he's motivated by his American patriotism. 
Yeah, I think he he rationalizes it all from that. I think he really believes that what he's doing is right. Be sure to watch season three of Hannah, streaming on Amazon Prime Video, November 24th.